right, tis the season. Just got my first, first call for some swarms not far from us. Let's go get these girls. We should get our seatbelts on. <laughs> Here so, we go. I know. Glad I got to clean up what I was doing. I know. So I was planting all of the stinging nettles and we've got some beautiful poppies as well that we are going to be planting as well. And I felt like, you know what? I really should look at my phone. So I picked it up, I looked on Facebook, I had a message about, hey, you might wanna contact this individual. I think she's got a swarm of bees. Stop sign, turn right. I got the description, it sounded pretty accurate. I went ahead and called the lady and introduced myself and said, hey, we are free right now. And well, I was, yeah. we're gonna be free right now. And so Drop I what you're doing. dropped what I was doing. I ran in, I was like, mom, let's go. It's the first swarm of 2022. Let's, let's get the, okay, wait. Well, we haven't got them yet. We okay. haven't got them yet. Well, it's just the whole adrenaline pump just I know. going. So it is, it's the full on adrenaline that gets you going. And this is what just. This is catching feelings. This is catching feelings. <laughs> This is the best swarm we could possibly get. They're definitely beautiful. You got some pretty, pretty blonde girls and... No, Do we have more than one queen? Oh, I'm sure. But given the time of day, how long have they been here? I just noticed them this morning. Okay, so we're probably, they're probably, the way they're communicating, I would imagine that they're gonna be trying to swarm again, which is normal. So right now, they really have nothing to uh, protect, so that's why they're pretty docile. And normally I bring like a frame and let them walk on it. So I had to get my suit on just because I did get stung and I didn't want all of the pheromones to be released and them hit me up harder. So we're gonna continue now that I have a suit on. And really, I'm gonna give this a good look if I see her, then I'm feeling good. But there's still quite a few bees, so we'll continue. Now, if I were to catch the queen and then walk away, they would all follow. So, and I would have a bunch of, a bunch of bees. Oh, I found her. She's right here. Look, there she is. 
right there. I just dumped her. I think she actually just flew off, but that's okay. There she is. Right here. See her? And she is inside the queen clip. How perfect is that? She's pretty. She's blonde. That's what I thought. I thought I saw a big old blonde hair. Yeah, she's really pretty. Okay, that makes me feel good. So really, what I could do is just leave this and they'll all follow. But being that we're on a time crunch and I don't know if we're gonna get a storm, I'll try to get as many out right now. And uh, no, I, what I think I'm gonna do is um, I might put this on top here. Let's try that. See if I can get them to march. Look, they're all gonna start marching in as soon as they start realizing that the queen and her pheromones are, she's inside there. All of these bees, they're all gonna migrate right up and go right into that hole. So see right here, see how they're, they're fanning? That means they are releasing the pheromones, they're spreading the pheromones, they're letting all their sisters know that, hey, it's time to move in. And there they go. And then I don't know if you if you heard it, but they just all kind of calmed down. So it's like, okay, we're gonna be okay. It's like their 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 tone. It just seems to really settle down. But very pretty girls. Now they're starting to march. We got as many of the girls inside the box as much as possible. And I'm probably gonna have to go back there early in the morning tomorrow to maybe get a couple hundred more. I would have left the box there, um, but because I had the queen in the clip and I'm watching the forecast, tomorrow's gonna actually be pretty cold, but Monday they're calling for potentially freezing rain. So I wanted to get as much as I could back and get them set up I probably am going to go ahead and open up one of these hives and pull some of the resources from them um, to make sure that they have a few frames of nectar and some pollen and maybe even a couple of frames of brood because I want them to be able to, to have a better start. So that's my plan. I think they're gonna appreciate having a little bit of resources. So I was able to pull some of the drawn out frames that I had for a few other of our colonies um, that are just a little bit extra. It has a little bit of some capped honey here up at the top. And then um, you'll see a little bit of nectar that some of the other girls that I had when we're starting to kind of work on and I felt a little bit guilty pulling from them but honestly I think it's going to be okay. I would much rather have this swarm have the resources and help them grow and even though that colony uh, that I pulled from that's a big colony they can afford to lose a few frames to get this one going. Let's see how they did in transport. <gasps> Hi girls I know I know, I'm so sorry. I promise I will take very good care of you. You guys are gonna appreciate this, trust me.
I've shared in my past swarm catching videos that every once in a while we will catch a swarm that has multiple queens and that's why I always carry a few queen clips on me because in the event of, I can go ahead and split the colony um, because I have multiple queens. But for this one, I'm just gonna leave it as a single um, because we're getting kind of later in the day and I'm hungry. <laughs> and I know these girls probably are as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these frames in and I'm comfortable letting that queen go. Um, that one, I've had a lot of controversy with that. Some people are like, no, leave them locked up for so long. But I've got, I've got faith that these girls are gonna stick around for a little while. <laughs> I think they're excited. Now I have the queen still right here and I'll release her. I just want you guys to be able to experience this. I think my top two favorite things about beekeeping is, is going out and catching swarms and then also having an opportunity to, to talk to the family, you know, to talk to the people that are are doing their part as homeowners or individuals who are, are realizing how special these tiny little heroes are and i think that teaching and sharing like this this is something that's not so scary you know and and having that opportunity to share and show my love for for this for what what we're doing and to see how much it's appreciated um, after the fact this is an opportunity that not everybody will experience. Seeing a swarm in person and seeing it in action and then seeing somebody who comes in and helps rescue, and I'm gonna say rescue, and the only reason why I'm gonna say rescue is because, yeah, they might have been able to, to find a new home in time. But again, I'm watching this forecast. They're calling for freezing rain. I don't know how much longer these girls might have been able to make it if they didn't find a home. So I'm gonna say rescue. We're giving them a good home. They have an opportunity to continue their life here. I'm content with what I have going on and I'm gonna go ahead and let this queen go. It looks like the girls really want this queen out so she's gonna go off and um, start laying, start making more bees. Go on. Mm -hmm. That queen flew off, but she's right there. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this lid up. I don't think she's going anywhere though. I would have liked to have seen her ball down, but she will. She'll make her way down. Go on. Good girl. Go on, beautiful. You see her? I know, she's a little confused. All right, she is like right in here. I caught her abdomen. She's kind of hanging out. I was hoping I was gonna be able to get her going down, but I didn't. So what I'm gonna do is just gently, gently, Close them up. They've got a good bit of resources there. They've got the drawn out comb. There's some nectar, there's some capped honey. I even saw a little bit of pollen in some of those frames, um, but I think they're gonna be happy. So with that, thank you guys for watching. And as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. Bye guys.